Okay, we have repeated streaming on Hacker Rank. Um, I normally like Hacker Rank, but their descriptions are so goddamn long. They're such a bitch to get through. But anyways, so this one's long. I feel like they could just like do it in one sentence, but no. So we're given a string S of lowercase letters that's repeated infinitely many times. Then we're given an intergener integer N. Find and print the number of letter A's in the first N letters of Lila's string. So if we're given S as A, B, C, A, C, and N equals 10, they're saying create a string with the repeated string here, repeat it until you have 10 characters, and then count how many A's are in it. So it'd be A, B, C, A, C, A, B, C. So there'd be uh, four A's. We have one, two, three, four. There's 10 letters. That's all it's saying. It's, it's so simple. I don't know why they have to, like, leak code is much better at that. Anyways, let's go to the whiteboard and figure out how we're gonna do this. So, if we're given ABA and then 10, well, we know that, so N equals 10, our S is ABA. So, S dot length is three. So, if we do um, 10, or three, no, 10 divided by three, so let's get total so I'm just gonna write total equals uh, 10 divided by three. And that's gonna give us three because it's not a float. Um, so if we do, we find, so let, let me think how, I'm gonna try and explain this. So we have total. Um, that's basically saying how many full strings we can have. So we can have three times three full strings because there's three letters we get nine and then we have one um, letter left over so if we do rem for remainder equals 10 modulus 3 equals 1 so this is technically multiplied by 3 to get us 9 and then we have 1 so if we add 9 and 1 we get 10 so that's um now I'm going to show you guys how we're going to calculate it. Basically, we're going to find out how many letters or A's are in here. So we have two, and then we're going to multiply it by three because we have um, three or three total strings that we can account for. So that gives us six, and then we just take the remainder and figure it out if that's A. Um, and it is. So we add one, and we get seven which is our answer right here. So now we just need to convert it to code. Um, hopefully the explanation was good for you guys. So we want to, first we want to recognize that this is a long. So um, long, so let's calculate the total strings. Total, I'm just gonna call it total full strings. Equals n divided by S dot length and long remainder equals n modulus s dot length. Okay, so um, let's convert the string into a car array. So two car array. And so now we want to loop through the string i equals zero. Oh, and we need a uh, a count. So count equals zero. That's where we're gonna count how many a's we have. So for i equals zero, we're just gonna loop through the string. And I plus plus. And um, so if c, oops, c of i equals a then count plus plus. Otherwise we don't need to do anything. Um, so then we just multiply count times uh, total full strings to get, so that's the, uh, that's the three times two part. Where we found that there's two A's in the string and we can uh, create three full strings with the given n, so we multiply it by two times three, gives us six. 
Um, so that's what this line's doing. And now we just want to do it for the remainder. So let's loop through one more time. But this time we're going to do i less than remainder i plus plus. And same thing. So if c of i equals a, then count plus plus, and return count. And that's it. So this should work. Yep. Sweet. So we just have um, O of n runtime, so um, constant runtime, or linear runtime, I'm sorry. And we needed a new array, car array, so uh, constant runtime as well. Linear runtime, sorry. <laughs> keep doing that uh, i hope this video guys video helped you guys if you guys have any questions leave them in the comments below i'd love to answer your questions and smash that like button if you like this video and that's all i got for you guys i'll see you in the next video yeah.